So today I'm going to be filming a product empties. I feel like I do this video, this videos a lot. I've probably filmed this video about five or six times on my channel, but it's basically where I talk you through all of my empty products over the past period of time since my last one that I filmed. I like to film these as soon as I've reached a reasonable amount of products because then I can throw them out as soon as I film the video. So I've got a mixture of makeup, skincare, just random things basically but they're all products and the point of this video is to say whether I liked it or not or just give a general review. So the first thing that I ran out of is these pore strips from Poundland. I literally just picked these up ages ago. They're basically charcoal nose pore strips. There were six in this packet and these can actually be quite expensive. Like if you get them from Super Drug or Boots, they can be like, I don't know, like six pounds. So one pound each strip, which is not, you know, crazy, but for a pound for six is really good. So I'd recommend going to Poundland. They're really good. It's supposed to get rid of blackheads and any dirt that's kind of in your nose. And it definitely does that because you can see it when you take it off. You just like leave these on your nose for about 15 minutes and then take it off and it gets rid of all the dirt. So these are really good to have as a step in your skincare routine and thumbs up from me for them. Then I've got this cleanser here, which is from Garnier. This is the Botanical Gel Wash, and I, ha I think it has tea tree in it. Does it have witch hazel? I don't know. I think it does have tea tree in it, which is great for spots. Um, but it says it's for combination to oily skin, so it's specifically for my skin tone because, or my skin type, because I definitely have oily skin. And I absolutely love this. 10 out of 10 for this product because it literally, I would use a little bit of it, rub it on my face and it would get rid of all my makeup and cleanse my face at the same time so it's there to like remove my makeup and cleanse and i just really like the fact that it was just so quick i didn't have to use like a face wipe to get rid of any of my makeup i could literally just use this and all of my makeup went straight off so i would recommend that and i actually will buy that so that one is a thumbs up from me i then have this dry shampoo from lidl it just a casual one like it's nothing special or anything like that just a random dry shampoo i don't really have any preferences on my dry shampoos i tend to just go for really cheap ones i use dry shampoo kind of in the roots of my hair when my hair is greasy but i also do use a tiny little bit as soon as i've straightened my hair just to give it a little bit more texture because my hair can be quite soft which means that it's not very voluminous so i like to just pop a little bit of this into my hair and it just gives it a little bit more volume but I would say that's just an okay product, nothing really amazing. Another one is this, which is from Nivea. It's just a random deodorant. I um, can't really say anything special about this. In fact, I can't even remember using this, so it probably wasn't that good. Um, so I can't really say anything positive about this, apart from the fact I ran out. I then have this body spray from So. I always get the So body sprays. I restocked on another one of these that you might have seen in a favourites video recently. But basically, they're very, very cheap body sprays. They're not perfumes, so that you don't have that really long lasting scent, which is why they're so cheap. But you'd still feel really refreshed and it still gives you a, a nice little scent. This one was grapefruit. And as you can see, completely ran out. But I definitely think these are well worth the money. That This one would literally cost me. I think full price, these are £3. But more often than not, in Superdrug, they're £1.50. Okay, then for a few makeup-y items, I've got this. Which is the MUA Pro Base Fixing Mist. Now, this is more of a controversial little item that I'm going to talk about. Because this is meant as a setting spray. And I actually didn't use it as a setting spray. I used this as a more of a primer. So I'd spray this onto my foundation brush and I would literally just brush it onto my face before any of my other makeup. And it made my skin feel quite nice sort of before applying any makeup. But what I absolutely hate about this is the smell. It smelt disgusting. Like it literally smelt like sick, which is just a very strange thing. And surely wouldn't you think that if they're making a product like this that you would amend the, the scent of it so that it doesn't smell quite so bad but it really does like it does put you off using it so uh, this to me is a thumbs down product and i would not rebuy oh yeah by the way i've still got a cold for those of you that might be wondering 
I've got a couple of mascaras and the first one is from Miss Lynn and this is the Intense Volume Mascara. The applicator looks like this. It was quite a thick mascara in terms of the applicator and I actually did really, really like this one. It managed to creep its way into at least one or two favourites and yeah, it gave lots of volume to my lashes and just an average mascara that I felt like was slightly better than average. So yeah, I would give that one a thumbs up. And then the other mascara that I've got, this one here is from Rimmel. This was actually sent to me in my Rimmel Vox box, the last one that I received. I did a video on that and the applicator is slightly different. And to be honest with you, my rating for this one isn't so high. They still do sell this. In fact, this is one of the newer ones. This is the Scandalized Wow Wings one. They still do release this one. And I personally, I don't know, it didn't really do that much. Like it didn't give any volume. It gave a little bit of length, but not really anything amazing. So I wouldn't recommend getting this because it's just not as good as some of the other ones that I've had and it costs actually more. So that one is a thumbs down from me. And then I actually have three concealers and I don't really know what this says about me. But I don't know why I've suddenly run out of three concealers all in one go. Um, but I actually had quite a few concealers um, on the go at once. I don't really know why. I got sent a couple of concealers, which is probably why I have them all in one go. But the first one is this one from Born Pretty, I believe. They sent me this to put in a video and to review and I've used it all up. This was actually a really decent concealer. The applicator looked like this and the shade that I got was number 20. And yeah, it was pretty decent. It was probably slightly too dark for my skin tone, but it overall, you know, it wasn't anything, you know, bad. Um, but yeah, it was quite good, really good coverage. It was a little bit thick, but I still did quite like it. So that one's a thumbs up. And then we have the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Now this one has been raved about a lot on YouTube and it's been in a favourites video of mine or a couple of favourites videos. And this one's in the shade C1, so the lightest one that they do. I absolutely love the size of the applicator. It is a really big doe foot applicator. And this one was perfect for kind of highlighting underneath your eyes, on your chin, down your nose, that kind of thing. And I just really like this. The coverage is really good. It blended out really, really well. And overall, it's a really good concealer. My only problems with this is that it doesn't have as much product in it as the usual concealers that you would buy. So it did run out pretty quickly. But overall, it is a thumbs up. And then finally, um, for concealers, and also finally for this video, we have the Natural Collection. Is this Natural Collection? I think it is. No, it's not. It's MUA, the MUA Cover and Conceal Concealer. This was just a concealer that I picked up from MUA because I, you know, just decided to get one. The applicator looks like this. The actual product, I, you know, would rate this whole product as a no. I would not buy this. It was, I think, one or two pounds. So, you know, what can you really expect for such cheap money? But I have tried other concealers that are better for the same price. It feels very, very watery. So if you put your foundation on and then you go to apply this on top of your foundation, it can actually remove some of your foundation. So it is quite watery and it doesn't really cover that much. So it's not got amazing coverage. So I wouldn't recommend this at all. So that's a thumbs down. So overall for this video, I have got quite a lot of recommendations. I think if I'm gonna recommend anything properly, I think I'll recommend these pore strips from Poundland for a pound, they really are good. This facial wash from Garnier, very, very good skincare products. So they're my recommendations. And then anything that I would steer well clear of would be these three products here. The MUA setting spray, because it smells like sick. The concealer from MUA because, oh, running theme with MUA here, um, because it doesn't cover very well. And this Rimmel mascara, because it doesn't give that much volume um, or length. So there we go. So that is the end of this video. Remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Seeing my little products, I'm sure I'm gonna do one of these videos very soon because I seem to get through products worryingly fast. Remember to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye. Mm,